Good morning. When I was growing up, I grew up in an average Louisiana family. We weren't well to do, but we never struggled. And my parents taught me two things about life, amongst others. The first thing was you work hard for what you have. And the second thing was if you, can't, if you want it and you can't afford it, you can't have it. That's just the way it is. <laughs> so fast forward a couple of years to, and I'll, I'll use October 1st since that's today's date. Uh, October 1st, 2003, I was 19 years old, had 20-20 vision, I had a decent job with a good company, I had a car, I was a vibrant 19-year-old ready to take the world by the tail. So I had absolutely no idea that seven months later, on May 15, 2004, <coughs> that my world would go dark, potentially forever. I have a condition that is known as severe optic nerve atrophy. And the way medical science is right now, I have no hope of ever seeing again, short of God's divine intervention. At that point in my life, I lost nearly everything that I thought was important to a 19-year-old. I lost my job, I lost my driver's license, and I lost my independence. All I had left was my God, my faith, and my family. So, fast forward a year later, when I finally got through all the paperwork with the Louisiana Rehab and entered the Affiliated Blind Training Center of Lafayette, and I spent the next nine months trying to learn how to cope with being blind and how to live life again independently. I got out, spent the next month looking for an apartment in Lafayette, then went off to get a guide dog, and then ultimately enrolled in college in Lafayette. Sorry, LSU fans. <laughs> And I spent the next six years of my life trying to get a bachelor's degree. I started out in computer science. The calculus was mopping the floor with me. So, but in my defense, I couldn't do calculus when I could see it. <laughs> so I switched over to history, finished out with a major in history and a minor in English. Then after for the next five months, I spent my life with the most arduous task that faces any college graduate, trying to find work. And ultimately, in September, I was forced to accept yet another disappointment in realizing that I was not going to be able to find work in Lafayette. So I came home to Walker, where I started living with my, back with my family. I ended up getting connected up with a good church, Judson Baptist of Walker. And I had hoped through that connection that two things would happen. One, that my faith would continue to grow. And two, that I would find somebody that knew somebody's cousin that would give me a job. Well. Unfortunately, the second part never happened. Not that way, anyway. In January of last year, I applied for a position at Lighthouse, Louisiana as a bagger in the, the paper cup factory. And unfortunately, I didn't get the position that I wanted. I wanted full-time, but they offered me part-time as needed. I'll be honest, that was kind of hard for me to swallow. I spent six years in college getting a college degree to not even be given a schedule. That was kind of rough on me at first. And I'll admit I was a little arrogant and, and, and indignant about it. But through a couple of months of this, and, and God brought me down to earth like he so often does. And then I found out that our receptionist of our facility took ill and they needed somebody to cover for her. And since I was already hired and I was part-time, they asked me to do it. And I had absolutely no idea that what was fixing to happen in my life because from that point, our receptionist ended up not being able to come back, and I applied for and was offered the position as, as a facility receptionist, and then I have been in that position for the last 15 months. Well, this very week, I am training my replacement to take over for me, because I'll be going to the NIB conference on next week in Washington, D.C., and then when I return, I'll be taking over my position as the new customer service manager for Lighthouse Louisiana. So what I will say to employers is people with disabilities, or as I like to call them, inconveniences, are just like everybody else. We all have something that we have to overcome. And 
most of us are willing to work hard and get out there and we will take any chance that you will give us. And to those people that have disabilities, I'm going to tell you, take what you can get. If somebody offers you a job, even if it's not the job that you want, take it because you don't know what doors are going to open just down the road. Thank you. Our next speaker is going to be Mr. Kevin Boyd from New Orleans. Welcome, Kevin.